Right, back on video now. Just doing another bit. It's a little resting place. More of the men dips all around there, look. I'm not going to bother sitting down. Somewhere around here. I can't tell you exactly, but the, somewhere over there, I think, if there's um, the Pilton Festival. I'm sure, I think it's over that way. That's where the road runs through and round. So I've got a feeling it's in that valley right over there. Because I know the road runs very close to it and that's the road there snaking through. So when you're up here, that's where the festival will be. Glastonbury Festival at Pilton. be brilliant to come up with video here when there's the festival's on. I keep meaning to do it but I haven't, had chance for a while. I haven't been able to because of the lights and you'd hear the music when you from the top here. How steep it is this side and bumpy. Well, we rolled down the other side. Today. everyone, this is Sheila. Somebody's written that. 23rd. Something like that, Gary. 2010, July. Yeah. Sat there, look, watching the festival from here, I suspect. Going walk right the way around. Yeah, that's the side we rolled down in there. We rolled all the way down that. Oh. There's a sundial here, I'll just video. We're 518 feet up. And then on here, if I'm talking to my video, on here we've got all the directions, how far it is and that sort of thing. 25 miles to Bristol, for example. Seven miles to Somerton, two miles to Street. 50 miles of Burnham and 80 miles to West.
the way, it's just right. It's not very nice when it's raining up here. Well, unless you look at that sort of thing. There's the top. And there's a bit of history here. Vestmary Tor rises from the lower Lias clays and limestones through the middle and upper Lias to a deposit of hard Midford sand on the cap. <laughs> How interesting for geologists it would be. Their scattered finds of prehistoric Roman and later objects suggest the tour was always used by man. But evidence for actual occupation from the 6th century AD was uncovered in the excavations of 1964 to 66. A second phase of occupation between 900 and 1100 was distinguished by the head of a cross and what were probably Christian monk cells cut into the rock of the summit. The tradition of a monastic site on the tour is confirmed by a charter of 1243 granting permission for a fair at the monastery of St. Michael. Yeah. The present tower is essentially 15th century and associated with the second of two major churches which stood on the summit. There was an earthquake in 1275. Oh yes. In 1539, the last abbot who was hung drawn in court right here. Yeah, lots of slaughter has taken place in this place. It didn't represent peace, really. It was a place of hell. It's all a big con. Yeah, the people come up here for the peace. They actually killed a lot of people up here. <laughs> Yeah. Right, just going round quickly then there's Glastonbury over there. And Brent now in the distance. And that's the tour over and out. Down there's the field we walked through with the cows. I walked through, I mean, a minute ago, the little calves and all that. And we walked through there and down through there a minute ago. Everything's symbolic around here, isn't it? And then we're going down this track. We're going down another side now. I've been down here hundreds of times. But uh, there we are up on the tour. Going down the tour, down on these long, long steps, and turn back round, and there you've got the tour in front of you up there again. Of course, it's going to be a bit wishy the way I'm handling the camera at the moment, and the wind's blowing, so it's going to be a bit uh, of that as well. So, anyway, basically, I'm not going to video the whole of me walking down here. This is Glastonbury Tour, it's um, something like the 9th of August 2010 a Monday <sighs> Zara and Brandy and Maggie will be moving out I think in the next week I'm not sure there's a possibility that they will be <sighs> because their flat is so damp and Zara's dreading the winter another winter in there 
with big frondy moulds hanging from the back porch and bathroom and black thick mould growing on the walls. I mean it affects me as well. When I was away I didn't have any sneezing and no block nose, no aches or pains. Doesn't take long to come back though. There we go, the sheep and I'm just doing the tour one more time. There's somebody on the tour, it's gonna to be in my video. This could be part five or six. I can't remember, I've lost track. It's not very organised, is it? <laughs> to edit it later. Right, we're nearly at the base now. I've just spotted on a hill, Chalice Hill, carved out. It's um, a big heart. Though you probably wouldn't notice unless you followed the part, the, the fence around it, and you can see it's a great big heart there. I just said to someone they could do with filling it with flowers it would stick out more but of course you know you've got a lot of myths and legends associated with Glastonbury of course bound to it and you've got a big tower on the top of a hill Looks like over there they've got the stage. There's something going on similar to one ones that they use at um, T4 on the beach and Glastonbury. Something going on. It could be in the Abbey Ruins even. I know what they're probably having one of those pilgrimages coming up, and the priests and all that go in there, especially if it's raining. And they have a little walk around the town. The Roman Catholics do, and they um or Christians, don't have to be Roman Catholic. They, they go around the town and then they all end up in the Abbey. It's quite a big event really, it's like a, I don't I think it's an annual pilgrimage actually. And Georgia and I went on one when Georgia was about six <clears throat> during my heightened spiritual awareness period. Um, I went through quite a, a thing of uh, going to church for a while actually, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't matter which way you go through, I suppose. I don't do it now, but I still like going in churches, I spend a lot of time in them. There's a walk over there and a hill over there as well that's got symbolic meaning. It was all thrown up all this, of course, when there were lots of earth, earthy activities going on in the past. <coughs> Where Cheddar Gorge was formed and, <coughs> and all that. we get all these big ridges coming out of the ground and that. But that hill over there does look a bit man-made, I must admit, Chalice Hill. Alright, we're going to go down to a board in a minute, but... Yeah, so there's the hill, totally disappears now, the tour, from this angle. Continue the video, Glastonbury Tour and the Abbey. We've got board here. Glastonbury Tour. Welcome to Glastonbury Tour, one of the most famous and sacred landmarks in the West Country from the summit of 158 metres. This is the same picture that was at the beginning. So imagine me rolling down here, can't you? St Michael's Tower on the top, 14th century church.
So this is the last stages there. There's just the tour up the top there before we go. <coughs> right, turn it off a minute. 